Hello and welcome to your hometown solutions. I'm your host, Jean Newell, with Waterview Realty. Here we talk with experts on all kinds of subjects that concern you, our listening audience, anything from family, finance, home, garden, garage. And today we have on the line one of our special experts who is the CEO and president of the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce. Nancy Peltonton. How are you, Nancy? And I messed up your last name again. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a tough one. It's Peltonen. Peltonen. But, well, um, thank, you. Do it right. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate uh, you having me on here today. Well, there's so many exciting things happening in the greater uh, Palm Bay area. And we wanted to have the expert that can tell us all about the growth potentials. And I know you've been interviewing um, a lot of different people because of your guest um, your guest spot today and you've um, interviewed Andy Anderson and so forth, some of the different people down there that give you the insight on the growth potential and the mayors. So let's start off with basically what does the, the Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce do for the community? A lot of people don't know exactly what Chambers of Commerce do and they have a, a, a lot of different um, things that help the community as well as tourism. So Give us your little insight um, <laughs> pitch on the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce. Well, a Chamber of Commerce is actually an organization of businesses, and they're seeking to work together to advance their community, the region, the state, or the nation. And here in Palm Bay, uh, we're, we really do focus on our area. Uh, we are looking to advocate on behalf of the community at large to bring economic prosperity and business int- interests here into Palm Bay. So we help businesses on an individual basis and then on a collective basis where we also work with the city to promote uh, tourism, to promote development. Um, we had a team actually come in from Taiwan and we took them around on a tour of Palm Bay and uh, the development and areas that are available. So we we are really um, a voice for the business community. Where did you say that group came in from? Taiwan. Taiwan. Were they here um, on an um, overview of the community as far as bringing in um, a business, or what were they doing here? Well, actually, it was multifold. Um, they have their uh, council down... Uh, I guess it's, I kind of want to think it's um, their embassy, but I, I'm not sure if that's what I would call it, uh, down in Miami. And so they are looking to Florida for, yeah, business development and a reciprocal relationship because Taiwan has a thriving business community. And so they are looking to have reciprocal relationships mm-hmm. with other countries. And um, it was amazing that they looked at Palm Bay because of the availability of land that we have here and the undeveloped nature of Palm Bay. It's only about 35% developed. So we have the ability to be able to have larger industries move in here and have the area for them. So yeah, they were kind of fact-finding mission. They gave us a presentation about uh, Taiwan and opportunities there, and then at City Hall, the mayor gave a presentation about Palm Bay and the opportunities we have here. We took them on a tour and went to FIT and Larson Motorsports and actually drove around the community a little bit so they could see what it was like um, and get an overview of of Palm Bay. I think a lot of people don't realize how much high-tech industry really is centered there in Palm Bay. Uh, Do you have any idea how many companies are high-tech in Palm Bay? I know it's uh, Brevard County in a whole has more manufacturing jobs available than any other community in Florida. A lot of people don't even realize that, but I know that's kind of the hub of high-tech down there in the Palm Bay area. Right. We actually have the High Tech Corridor, which is um, they're trying to change the redevelopment zone where uh, actually the chamber is located into the High Tech Corridor. But along uh, Palm Bay Road and then John Conlon, um, it would be east of Babcock Street all the way to US-1 and then north along Robert J. Conlon. So we are um, excited because obviously Harris is the largest um, uh, employer here in Palm Bay with their large facility that they put on um, 
on Palm Bay Road. It's just a beautiful building. But all along that tech corridor there, there's the Innovation Center, and uh, that includes Fab Lab, which is in there. There's Larson Motorsports. There's CAMID, and uh, that's part of FIT, but it's the computer-aided manufacturing and uh, integrative design, and that is uh, looking to be developed to be almost like a... um, a hub for people to come with new ideas, new ways of manufacturing. They're looking at multi-metals rather than right now everybody seems to use the kind of plastic, you know, and they do the 3D manufacturing, so it's all made out of the same materials, but they're looking at doing multi-metals. It's really um, uh, manufacturing with 3D digital processing. It's uh, having simulators and and visualization technologies, so they're really looking to be cutting edge, and that's part of the FIT program. And Larson Motorsports is there, and uh, the Larsons are, Elena's the two-time World Jet Dragster Champion, and with their facility, they have students coming through who are engineers that are able to actually have hands-on experience. It's almost interning there. So her team is... She has a few different teams, but the one that helps her, they're entirely female, and they help design, build, and are the pit crew for her jet dragster. How exciting so, is that? Yeah, that's pretty amazing, and just the most down-to-earth lady you could ever meet, and it's amazing that she's still breaking records. And so it's kind of nice that the engineering students that are going through FIT are getting this hands-on experience. I mean, a lot of people, uh, students graduate, and they – are book smart, but they don't have any hands-on experience. So they have, man, they have so many airplane engines there in their facility, and they learn welding and drafting and designing, and it's it's pretty amazing to have that right here in our backyard. And then Fab Lab, it is the largest um, maker facility, I think, in Florida. I mean, it really is uh, a very large um area. It services three colleges. Uh, They work with a lot of the Brevard public schools and private schools. Uh, They have over 4,000 of the registered homeschooled children that go through there. And they have just every tool or piece of equipment that you could uh, possibly need to make a project or try an invention. Uh, You can do everything from make a t-shirt to doing, um, making a multimeter or robots. Uh, It is just fascinating. And they have a lot of free events that uh, students or just anybody, actually, adults can go in there, too. They help build life-size, life-size humanoid robots. They help refurbish used computers. They actually help a lot of uh, teachers and refurbish computers for students because a lot of the times there isn't the budget in the you know, the school system, and so they kind of, they do that as well, but they also have Brevard Tech Village, and this is a project-based learning, um, and it's part of the complex as well, and so what it does, it offers local startups this collaborative hub where entrepreneurs can work from common areas, and they share knowledge and innovation, but they get to preserve their intellectual property. Uh, They'll have their own office and that, but that's all housed within that innovation complex. It's really a very neat tech village is how we Where is that located? Where is that located? Nancy? That's right on Palm Bay Road. It's um I could actually give you the actual address. It is right beside Larson Motorsports. Okay. And uh the address would be give or take uh twenty four ninety five Palm Bay Road. So it's just across from Harris. It's, um, I don't know if you saw the life storage that is there. It used to be Uncle Bob's. Um, that's the facility there, and it's it's very, very large inside. I've taken a tour and was impressed at how much space they have and all that they're doing. And like I said, all the tools are there that uh, somebody can go in if they want to make you can do cutouts, laser cutouts. Uh, they provide all these tools free of charge. It's unbelievable. This does that sta- does that stand for something? Fab Lab. Does the Fab is that I, an acronym for something? I think it's like Fabrication Lab, but uh-huh. I could be wrong with that. That's just what comes to mind when I have always said it. But <laughs> I I could be wrong on that one. Um, but it, it's just a really I think a great facility to have here in Palm Bay. 
So that uh, that is is it kind of close to the public, or is that like by invitation only, or do you actually sign up for a, a, a class, or is it an incubator type of? A, a it's almost like business? all of the above. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they have classes. Um, they have where you can go in and use their equipment and facility. You sign in and out. They have where if you want offices in there, you can um, work out. Um, logistics to have your office space there. Uh, they are have a lot of um, kids go through there, so sometimes it's Boy Scout troops, and sometimes it's homeschool kids, and sometimes it's just uh, different um, students with different mindsets. So if they want to work on robots or uh, drones or, you know, it's, it's amazing. And I, if you just go on their website, you'll see uh, their calendar of events, what's going on, and just come by. I mean, they are open to the public. So it's a very neat facility. What, do you have your that website handy or would it just be? I apologize. Right. I don't. But okay. I can um, try and look it up here while we're talking okay. on my computer. If not, I have we could probably Google search uh, Fab Lab in Palm Bay and it would probably come up. Yep. So, uh, yes, it does. And um, um, in a pinch, they could just give you a call back maybe later today and, and uh, or email you, and you'll give them all these different phone numbers and so forth if someone uh, uh, wants to give a you know tour or see Well, it, it changes. Yeah, the, the time kind of changes every day at the place, right? Today it's open 2 to 8, but mm-hmm. their number, it's on Palm Bay Road, and it says their address, yeah, 2475 Palm Bay Road Northeast. And um, their phone number three two one four nine nine three nine two zero. Two zero. Okay. Next yep. And three. if you just Google um, Space Coast Fab Lab dot org, that's where you'll get more details. Great. And that was three two one four nine nine three nine two zero. Is that correct? correct. Okay. Yep. Good. And uh, that was some great information on that. Uh, there's so many exciting things that are out there that people don't know about. You know, it's, unless you just happen to fall into some category or you're in school and a lot of people don't if they're listening from another state they might not know what FIT is so let's share that with them Nancy. Okay yes (laughs) a Florida Institute of Technology is the premier um, university here in Brevard County they have amazing graduation rates they have a focus on engineering um, computer science um, uh, they're just world renowned they're in the top 40 universities throughout the world. I mean, they are just an amazing organization to have here in Brevard County. And so they graduate a lot of these uh, students that, you know, to get this hands-on opportunity, it's pretty amazing. So the Florida Institute of Technology is also looking uh, to expand opportunities for their students. And so that CAMID project is really important to them. It's a 100,000 square foot facility. And so for them to create a manufacturing and design ecosystem, it's also going to allow U.S. manufacturers of all sizes to understand and profit from the latest approaches to manufacturing in order to be globally competitive. It's a really neat ecosystem that they're trying to build right here in Palm Bay. Is that the Brevard Tech Village that you just said that they're involved in, or was that... Um, this is CAMID, so that's that Computer Aided uh, Manufacturing um, and Innovative Design, and that's the old Intersil building, also on the same property as Fab Lab. It's amazing, <laughs> all that's right there, um, and they're they're in the process of renovating the building. I mean, that's something that they got the old facility. Unfortunately, I guess they found a little bit of substances that shouldn't be in there um you know so um, <laughs> that was a pleasant way of putting it. <laughs> so they're having to you know really gut the place and so it's taking a little bit of time to get that underway but that is uh what they're looking forward to really being a hub here in uh palm bay so give me that acronym I mean, in brevard county we speak in acronyms everything is do. an acronym it's camid c-a-m-i-d and that's the Center for Advanced Manufacturing and Innovative De- Design. Yes. I said PDQ, give me that acronym, ASAP. <laughs> I know. It's like no matter what industry you're in, everyone talks in acronyms. Oh, gosh. And I remember exactly. when I started at a shelter, I needed them to tell me, uh, just write a whole list of all, 
all the acronyms because just they just started talking in them and I said, I don't have any clue what you're talking about. <laughs> and the chamber's the same way, you know, we rhyme off all different things and you're like, I don't know if everybody knows what you're talking about. So we're trying to be a little bit more vigilant, but I apologize with That's that. Right. Yes, Florida Institute of Technology. I know, and you have to be yep. careful because sometimes, you know, when we're talking, especially on the radio, people always, when they, we would talk about the... Uh, KFC, they think we're saying KFC, like Kentucky right. Fried Chicken. <laughs> and they're going, why is everybody talking about Kentucky Fried Chicken all the time? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, yes, we have to um, be very, uh, in, you know, spell it out and <laughs> make sure that people understand. Well, what exciting news are, uh, that's coming uh, to the uh, Chamber of Commerce and, and to the greater um, Palm Bay area. Now, you've been talking in length with Andy Anderson. What is his uh, direct title there in um, Palm Bay? He is the development director uh, for the city, and he was talking about a number of programs. So actually in that area where Robert J. Conlon Boulevard is, they're looking at, and this is probably five years down the road, I mean, this is one of their long-term plans, is to make that more of a destination. They want to put a boulevard in there with angled parking, uh, with restaurants and shops, and make it more of a center, more of a downtown type area. And with the number of millennials that are being drawn to Harris, millennials don't want to live like their parents. Um, Most of them, I shouldn't say most, but, you know, they sort of look at the trends and they're not interested in living out in the suburbs and commuting for, you know, an hour. They like to be closer to where they work. They like a multi-use area. And so that's kind of the plan is to look at that area. They were talking about Harris maybe knocking down some of their... um, outpost facilities that they have. I mean, they have a number that are kind of older that they were looking at getting rid of. And so they're looking at either doing uh, green space or adding new facilities and making that whole area a multi-use area. And so it would um, definitely be a different landscape than what it looks like now. They're also with the St. John's Heritage Parkway. People keep saying, well, it looks like it's finished. Why isn't it connected up to Ellis yet? And so there was um, some issues with some of the piping that went in there. So that is looking to be open by June 1st. And then the connector road um, is looking to be finished. Um, That was approved through West Melbourne. Um, And I'm thinking... um, I'm trying to think where that one is going into, but, um, oh, yeah, 192, and then from 192 up to Ellis. So, yeah, that's the part that has been approved because they haven't started going with that um, section yet. They're also looking at the interchange that was happening at Mall Marker 166. That's at um, the corner of Babcock and Heritage Parkway, and so that's south. That's quite far south into Palm Bay. And that has been, you know, everybody's been talking about that, calling it Emerald City and uh, Miko Road Interchange and all this type of thing. But uh, I'm not sure that they have an exact name for that yet. But that's going to provide between that area and when the Heritage Parkway opens up about 1.6 million square feet of commercial real estate. And then they're going to have about 4,200 residential area uh, units between the two. Down at that interchange at uh, one mile marker 166, they're looking at restaurants and a 55-plus planned community and about 3,700 homes in there. So it's going to be a huge planned development when that gets going, and they're looking at June of this year to start breaking ground. Right now they're doing site um, site surveys and and it is, I mean, it's been approved by the, the Department of Transportation, so it's a go. It just, everything seems like, why is it taking so long for things to get started? But, I mean, that's a massive project, so that is underway. Well, I've got the map open that you gave me. Oh, yes, okay. And let yeah. me tell you, this is exciting to look at all these, they they do it in red, like little um, uh, slashes or dots uh, where yeah, the, the proposed roads are. Along there. Yep. Wow, yeah, the Wow, what, yeah. it, it, it's very exciting, and if you would like to see uh, how this new road thoroughfare and bypasses and all these different things that they're going to be doing, stop into the Chamber of Commerce because they have brand new maps. We do. Yay. 
<laughs> and, well, we're sort of a welcome center, too, and that was the number one thing we get asked. Do you have maps? And we didn't have one for about, oh, six months. It was just a nightmare because we knew you could tell people coming in they're going to want a map, and we don't have any. So they did a fabulous job of the map. The city did that, and they're awesome. Well, you've been listening to Nancy, president of the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce. Um, tell everyone where you're located right there on US-1. If they're out and about, stop in and meet Nancy, pick up some brochures, uh, get to know what's going on in the Greater Palm Bay area, and pick up one of those maps. It is very enlightening on some of the new projects coming up. 4100 Dixie Highway Northeast in Palm Bay, so most people know that as US-1. We're just north of Palm Bay Road on US-1. And um, yeah, as a chamber, we have a lot going on, especially with the Mayor's Breakfast coming up on May 19th. It's a little ways out, but um, that's where you can hear about all the mayors in Brevard County, uh, an update on their cities. So they are giving a five-minute blurb, so not a lot of time, but uh, you get to hear what's happening from Titusville um, all the way down to Grant and Barefoot Bay Area. So uh, that's a fabulous event. It's open to the public and uh, very, very informative. What date is that again? It's Friday, May the 19th. It's at the Crown Plaza from 7.30 to 10.30. Give out your website or your phone number where people can mark this down to call you or or send you an email and find out a little bit more about that breakfast because that is open to the public. There is a, a charge for that, isn't there? Yes, yes, there's a charge for the breakfast. It's $25 um, in advance, so for members, and then $30 for non-members in advance. We're not sure there'll be any tickets at the door, uh, just because last year we had about 210 people come to it, and so it was a well-attended event. Um, if they go to the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce, so that's greaterpalmbaychamberofcommerce.com, there'll be more detailed information about all our events. There's our calendar on there. You can register for events. All our events are open to the public, just sometimes there's a little bit uh, higher charge for being a non-member, but we certainly encourage people to come and and attend our events. There are always great networking opportunities, a great chance to meet other businesses and, and make strategic partnerships. Exactly. And that mayor's breakfast is a wonderful place to network if you're starting a business or you just got started in a business because the people that attend that mayor's breakfast are in the know. They are the movers and the shakers of yes, South Brevard County, right? <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah. And there, when, how often do you get a chance to really maybe walk up to a mayor after the event and ask a question or act, um, be able to sit down with one of the um, people in office and find out what, you know, what's going on. So please uh, check out that uh, calendar of events. That's a wonderful opportunity. So what else do we have coming up on the calendar? Anything uh, later in uh, this month in March or April? Um, Yes, we actually have uh, this month we have our entrepreneurial breakfast, which is going to be quite interesting. Um, We have Wayne Justice. He is uh, with uh, the Port Canaveral uh, Commissioner and he his history though was working, um, I don't know if he was Navy, but he carried the nuclear codes uh, in the suitcase behind both President Bush and Clinton. And so he is talking about his leadership experience and the dealing with the stress of that. He had that position for about two years. And I'm thinking, you know, the man with the nuclear codes for the United States, I mean, that's pretty amazing. He's going to show pictures and slides and talk about his history. So that's on the 15th of March at the Holiday Inn. It's a breakfast at 7.30 to 9. And then we have our um, Businesswomen of Brevard. That's always a a fabulous event. Uh, And this month we have uh, Mary uh, Points. Her name, she is going to, she's from the Army, and she's talking about um, diversity in the military. So I think that is going to be a very, very interesting one with businesswomen of Brevard, and that's at Larson Motorsports. So for those uh, people, and it's open to men and women uh, that would like to see some jet dragsters and huge airplane engines and a really neat facility, that's going to be on uh, March the 28th at Larson Motorsports. And then we have um, a speed networking, and that's always a fun event. It's, we call it like the speed dating of networking. So on the 30th of March, you'll be able to meet
meet a whole lot of businesses at one time and it's not it's kind of where you're card bombing but what you do is you you follow up the you know the fortune is always in your follow up and so you can meet a lot of people in a short period of time and those that uh you know are really somebody that you think you could make a good partnership or a good network with um, is who you follow up with. So it's, like I said, it's a nice way to meet a lot of people in a short period of time. And then in April, we have um, our luncheon coming up. And for those that want to know more about what ha- what's happening in, in Palm Bay, James Marshall, he's the administrator of the Bayfront Community Redevelopment Agency of Palm Bay, is going to give an update on things that are happening in Palm Bay. So that's more time. He gets to talk for about 20, 25 minutes. So that will be a really in-depth um, focus on Palm Bay. And um, What date is that in April? And- it's so always the first Wednesday of every month. It's, okay. it's Wednesday, April the 5th. It's at Life Care Center just off the, uh, Malabar Road. It, it's just west of the hospital there um, on Villa Nueva um, Avenue. So well, it, give out your my... website one more time and, it, so they can actually go there and get all this information because people always ask me, well, you know, I'm thinking about starting a business or I'm thinking about moving down and where do I go? Where do I find out these? This is exactly where you need to go or, or at least go to some of these things and find out all the things that you might want to know about an upcoming uh, event or um, what your area is, you know, what the layout of the area is as far as industry and businesses because a lot of people see this as a great Great quarter, as you said, but great tech quarter. Gosh, I can't even talk. Uh, so <laughs> what is your website one more time? It's greaterpalmbaychamberofcommerce.com. Okay. And uh, we really appreciate it. We've got just a couple more minutes, but I want to go over a couple other things with you. Um, the chamber has a lot of things um, to offer down there. You also have a lot of things for the tourists. So if you happen to be listening to this show and it's um, on uh, maybe the archives and you've missed some of these dates, go into the chamber or go on the website because there's always upcoming things. But you do a lot of things for tourism. So when the, the, you're, you're very fortunate you're right there on US1. So many of the uh, chambers of commerce or the tourism departments, are, they, they stick them in another little spot off the right. beaten track and people don't know where they're at. <laughs> yes, and we're in such a pretty location. You know, I'm looking out my window and dolphins were swimming around earlier and it's just a beautiful facility where we are, and right by the bay, uh, there's Turkey Creek where um, tourists, well, and just people that live here go kayaking, and there's trails for hiking and biking, and they have a um, um, uh, welcome inter, in, you know, um, welcome center. It kind of gives you information about the animals that are in Turkey Creek and, and that surrounding area, so that's always a great day. Uh, out and the, the library is near there and so is the community center so there's lots going on uh, they have skate parks Palm Bay is really more well known for all its parks there's 29 here in Palm Bay oh my. so yeah That's... yeah people don't realize there's so many <laughs> well and a lot of people don't realize the the vast area that it encompasses it's something like 68 square miles and didn't you see it's going to say that it's going to be bigger than uh uh, what was it? Central Chicago? Florida, yes. Or, or, Orlando area. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, because we have more space and there's so much that is undeveloped. So when you look at that map, you know, you can see all in that southwest uh, quadrant, there's there's a lot of space that's still to be done. And then all the space that's um, west of the Heritage Parkway, there's a lot of room for development here in Palm Bay. So that's that's kind of nice. and. So if you want to be in a gated community or if you prefer your individual lot, you know, there is something for everybody here. Exactly. And what we used to say, I I used to work at the Boca Raton Chamber of Commerce many years ago. And it's something to be said when you do business with a organization or a business that belongs to a community like the Chamber of Commerce. Because now you feel like you have a a company that, you know, will have to stand behind what they say because they don't want to you know, lose their standing with the Chamber of Commerce. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a kind of a inside uh, guarantee that some of these businesses are going to be a little bit more upstanding and so forth than just any new business coming out of the ground. So I always like the, the fact that you should try to seek out businesses that are a member of the Chamber of Commerce. So we really appreciate that. Thank you, Nancy. 
Pelton, and I'm going to say it again, Pelton, right? Correct, Pelton, yes, very good, Jane. <laughs> Thank you, I always want to put a D in there. With the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce, we appreciate you calling in and giving us all this great insight, and please tune in next week when we have Colleen Quick, who's a financial advisor at Edward Jones, and anytime you need any kind of information about the show or what's going on in the area, you can go to our website at home, yourhometownsolutions.com, and you can actually request a book called Extra Equity, and it gives you all kinds of insights about the community, also about purchasing homes, selling homes, anything that you need. So thank you again, Nancy, with the Greater Palm Bay Chamber of Commerce. And until next week, I'm Jean Newell, your expert on your hometown solutions, where we discuss everything from foreclosures to feng shui. 